Delegate Kathy Shalega. And hi, I'm Delegate Sue Allman. Saturday's town hall was a great success. We had over 250 people show up and voice their opinions. Please stay tuned and watch some of our highlights. Thanks. That brought most of us here today are these black rifles. They are in fact semi-automatic rifles. There's nothing special about them except that they look like a military rifle. Now I'd like to turn it over to Congressman Andy Harris who will give us an update from the federal level. Hi, thank you very much and thank you everybody for being here and being interested because the Second Amendment right is an important right that shall not be infringed. There are five bills pinging around the Senate. There's nothing really that's going to ever originate in the House, or uh, uh, as I'll get to in a little while, probably even end up on the floor of the House. The five are, one is a, a school safety bill that just sends a little more, uh, probably a little more money to programs that, that help schools keep the, their, their environment safe. Probably a pretty benign bill. The other one is a tr drug trafficking bill, also probably pretty benign. The three ones to worry about and the one that, that passed out of the... Uh, uh, Senate committee, I guess yesterday or the day before, which is the assault weapons ban, the magazine uh, uh, size limit, and the universal background check, which is also floating around uh, the Senate. Of those three, the, the, uh, the magazine limitation and the assault weapons ban is just not going to make it. Harry Reid opposes an assault weapons ban, okay? That, that's how ridiculous assault weapons bans are. And I didn't even know that until I read it yesterday. Harry Reid and, and Mr. Leahy from Vermont. Now, I mean, imagine, they're going to vote against the assault weapons ban. So that's how far out of touch Maryland is with mainstream America. Okay, and I'm not... I'm not a criminal, and I'm sick to death of being treated like a, like a second great citizen in this country and in this state. You have illegals, you got criminals. Do what you're supposed to do with the people that broke the damn laws. Lock them up. We are not the ones that broke the law. Thank you. Uh, I've owned guns and, and uh, been a gun owner since I was a little bitty shaver. I served in the military. I was a hospital corpsman with uh, the Marine Corps in Vietnam. I have chronic PS PTSD, and I assure you, I am not going to come out there going to kill you. And if, if our legislators tell me um, I am crazy, we will move out of the state. <clears throat> I think this bill is more about, in the state of Maryland, getting O'Malley elected than anything else. And it's, you know, the, f the first day that O'Malley rides off into the sunset and we never see him again will be the happiest day of my life. I have lived in Maryland my entire life, 43 years. We've just spent the last three and a half years fixing up a house south of um, Blackwater Refuge so that we can take our kids down there to um, hunt crab fish and everything else and Honestly, I never thought I would move out of this state But this state has gone to a very bad place and literally now we are trying to figure out where we can move to I used to like to hang the Maryland flag and sadly I'm not hanging it anymore and that is very disturbing and My name is uh, John Burgess. I'm from Lutherville, Maryland I'm an ex uh, Army infantry, I carried a rifle and a pistol. Never had any problems, never came close to uh, shooting anybody that I shouldn't uh, have been shooting. <laughs> One thing we need to remember is there are more, a lot more people killed by knives, a lot more uh, people killed by drunk drivers than there are by guns in this country. I don't see any movement to take away knives from every household or take away licenses or to take away uh, alcohol. Vote. If you think your vote isn't worth it, then prove that it is.